Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Today we're going to be looking at the Orient Sun and Moon wristwatch. This is the second generation of the Sun and Moon watch. It's the follow-on to the ETOP series. This is the ETOT series. Uses the same movement. It's Orient's own in-house, made in Japan, 46B46 46 movement. It's an automatic self-winding movement with 21 joules. It has three hands for telling the time, the hours, minutes, and seconds. It has a day of the week indicator at the 3 o'clock position, a date indicator between the 7 and 8 o'clock position, and then the sun and moon indicator at the 10 o'clock position. The watch comes in a few different varieties. I have three of them here today. The black dial, the blue dial, and the white dial versions. They're all the same watch, same movement, same features. The only thing that varies is the dial itself, and the color of the hands, and the color of the strap. They all use the same case. Let's dive in and take a closer look. We'll start with the white dial model, uh, ET0T002S. It's got black hands, black Roman numerals around the periphery of the dial. True to being a dress watch, there's no luminescence on any of the hands or any of the indices. The first thing that you probably see, well, maybe the second thing, the first thing you probably see is the sun and the moon. The second thing that you see is the, di the dial on this one is extremely detailed. There's a lot of patterning done to the dial, a lot of work. And if I turn the watch on its side, you can really see the guilloche or the impressioning on the dial. Um, Older watches, this was done on a, a rose engine. These are not, these are stamped dials. But you can just see the dial construction. Look how, look how thick the dial is where the date window was cut out. So many layers go into making this. So many so that part of the sun moon indicator is held on with screws. The overall effect is stunning. Very, very well done. So the watch is 42 millimeters in diameter without the crown, 14 millimeters thick, and that overall dimension lug tip to lug tip from here to here, that's 50 millimeters. It's a decent sized watch. You can see the crystal, the crystal is a flat sapphire crystal, so it won't scratch on you. And flipping it over, you have a screw down case back. And you can see Orient's own in-house movement made in Japan, the 46B46, uh, ticking away. The watch is water resistant to 50 meters. Here is the black dial model. Everything's pretty much the same as on the white dial. The same patterning, same dial construction. Difference here is that they've chosen silvered hands instead of black so you can actually read the time. No luminescence on the hands or the numbers or the indices. Has a matching black leather strap, as did the white dial version. This is model ET0T004D. Uh, this is actually my own personal watch. I happen to love these watches so much that when I saw they made a blue one, I simply had to have it. And they put it on a matching blue strap. Now the dial on this one is a little bit different um, as far as the patterning. The main part of the dial doesn't have any any patterning to it. Uh, the, the day wheel still does. Everything else remains the same. It's got white numbers, non-luminescent, white hands, but just that smooth blue. It's gorgeous. It appears black most of the time, but when the light is bright enough, it takes on that reflective blue that Orion is so good at making on their rays, their makos. Uh, extremely well done. Now let's really focus in on that sun and moon indicator and we can see how it works. It's more or less a glorified 24 hour dial and they've attached a sun and moon wheel to it. So let's see, so this would be noon, so that's noon. The sun is high in the sky, the sun is very well done, it's a gold, it's a gold leaf sun on a light blue background and you can see the face in the sun. And then as you pass noon the sun starts to go down, starts to set. And then the dark sky starts to come up, some stars, and then the moon, and the moon has 
a face on it, the so-called man in the moon. And at midnight, the moon is above the sky, and there's no more of that light blue color left. And then as the day continues, you saw the day wheel go over, the date wheel moved, and then back to being sunshine. The need for a 24-hour window or sun and moon indicator, obviously superfluous. You know when it's a.m. or p.m. It just looks really nice. It's very well done. It's something different on a watch dial that you generally don't see. And that blue really sets off with everything else. And the gold, very nicely done. So let's show you how the deployment buckle works on the watch. This is my watch, so it's already been sized for me. It, and the straps are already bent into the shape of my wrist. So here's that Orient deployment buckle. So there's these two push buttons on the sides. Give them a squeeze and the buckle deploys. Hit these buttons again. There's a little this little this little area flops down. See this right here? So the idea is you're gonna fit the strap this direction through here and then you're gonna bring this part back up and it's gonna snap into place. So I'll try to catch it for you. So I'm gonna flip the watch over. This takes trial and error a couple of times because you don't know what size you want the watch to be. But you find where you want it to go. Yep. You push the pin in, and then you fold this back up. It snaps, okay. and then you put the watch on. And then when you go to put the watch on, you should always try to take the tail of the strap and push it through the keepers while you're putting it on. You don't want to... You, you, then you snap the deployment buckle in. You don't want to be snapping the buckle in and then bent, taking this and bending it and trying to force it into there because then you're just going to bend the strap unnecessarily. And that's what the watch looks like on my six and three quarter inch wrist. I think it looks great. I think it works great. It's a gorgeous piece. I get loads of compliments on it. It really is something different. And to take the watch off, you just depress those two buttons again and pull. And that's it. And, and now you leave the watch on your desk, on your dresser, in your winder, wherever. Just snap together. That's it. You really don't have to take the strap out of the buckle again until you need to resize it. Maybe due to a change in weather or a change in weight. And this way the leather, especially at the buckle side, the leather stays nice and fresh. It doesn't get all bent and raggedy. Thanks for watching everybody. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com with the Orient Sun and Moon second generation automatic wristwatch. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below and we'll be sure to answer them as quickly as we can. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.